Hello everyone, welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. What I want to show you today is how to adjust the metronome in your project and your cycle region. The first thing we're going to talk about is the metronome. Your metronome options are down here at the bottom of the screen. The first thing you want to do is turn your metronome on so you can hear it. You can pick a one bar or two bar count in. So when you're going to record, it'll give you either four clicks or eight clicks before it comes in. You can set your volume and you can set what instrument type you're going to hear. Then you can set the tempo here. There are two ways to adjust the tempo. First, you can click here. The higher the number, the faster the project. This is in beats per minute or BPM. Alternately, you can click here. Now it's picking up the tempo that I'm tapping on my mouse as my mouse hovers here. When I like it, I can hit confirm. Maybe I got close, but I wanted it to be more like this. As soon as I hit confirm, everything adjusts in the piano roll up top that you can see. And we're now at 82 beats per minute. And you just notice that when the playhead, this little marker right here, reached the end of measure eight, it automatically jumped to the beginning. That's because the cycle region is on. You can click it to turn it off, and then when it runs over, it just keeps going into the oblivion. Or you can turn it on and shorten it if you want to work with just a section. Or you can grab the middle of it and move it if you want to work on a different section. Now when it arrives at the end, it will jump back to this measure. So that's the metronome and the cycle tool. 